Though the four city centre towers will each be performing a specially composed piece of ringing by Philip Iris, which will consist of 800 changes to mark the 800th anniversary of the university. And the 800 changes will be 800 different sequences of the ringing of the bells. Then there's uh, Darwin, uh, he had been an undergraduate at um, Edinburgh University but he didn't like it there so he came to Christ College here in Cambridge and studied divinity and it was really the um, contacts that he made here in Cambridge which led to him being invited to accompany the Beagle expedition. A scientist I feel a bit sorry for is Rosalind Franklin who, who died young um, her work on X-rays and, and uh, atoms uh, paved the way for the DNA breakthrough of Watson and Crick, but she perhaps hasn't had the recognition that she deserves. But it's not all scientists. Um, we have uh, actors and comedians and Stephen Fry, the name of Stephen Fry springs to mind, who was a student at Queen's College and took his first steps in his acting career in the Cambridge Footlights. We get Freddy the Bastard over there with his equipment, <laughs> <laughs> opens up the car, gets to the tank, changes it from leaded to unleaded, <laughs> he gets half the miles to the gallon, and he won't know why. If you like comedy, you will have heard of someone that's in the footlights or has been in the footlights. I mean, personally, I um, grew up watching Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie and Peter Kirk and um, Monty Python and things like that. And, well, personally, the, the reason I applied to Cambridge was not only because it was academically wonderful, but because I wanted to be in the footlights. I, I applied twice. The first time I applied, I didn't get in. <laughs> but I thought I can have another go. Applied a second year, took a gap year because I wanted to be part of the Footlights and part of that sort of tradition. Student life in Cambridge isn't very different to student life at any other university. There's, it's very optimistic. I think that people want to make a difference and they want to do something that's exciting and they're very ambitious. But ultimately, I think it's very different to what people believe it is. And you know, people worry here about the credit crunch and they worry about finances just the same as they do at any other university in any other place. I think it's just, it's more ordinary than people think it is. The significance is that uh, we belong to a university which is clearly much older than most of us and we are here just for a short time. So we're celebrating the accomplishments, the many, many accomplishments of our predecessors, but we're also hoping to look forward and transforming tomorrow by recognising how much our predecessors have done and current students and staff are doing in a way that we hope will again inspire the next generation to continue this for at least the next 800 years. <laughs>